It's Wednesday the 15th. For those that don't know, I'm Dan Udy. My wife Angela and I own A1 Carpet Care. And today is episode number 17 of my daily vlog. We got a great show lined up. First, you're going to get to see my son Warren and I. Actually, my daughter Marilyn and Angela are in the kitchen as well. But we're going to be doing a little cooking show, sharing my secret vegan cream sauce. My secret vegan cream sauce. Secret vegan cream sauce. Secret vegan cream sauce. Made out of raw cashews. It is so delicious. We're going to be showing you that. And then Cole and I are going to be headed down to Fernadina Beach about an hour south. And we're going to be cleaning three rooms, a hallway, and some stairs. A pretty heavily soiled, light colored shag carpet that I did an estimate for yesterday. And they want all their furniture moved. And we'll move anything other than pianos and pool tables. So we're moving beds, dressers, nightstands. We're gonna have a great time doing it. And I really wanna thank you guys for watching and tuning in. If you haven't done so yet, don't forget to subscribe below and ring the notification bell, become part of our notification nation. So you get notified every time we drop a new video. This is probably the equivalent of two tablespoons. 
garlic also gives it that nice cheesy flavor. Yeah. Okay, so we have salt, we have nutritional yeast, three tablespoons of that, two tablespoons of this, one teaspoon of salt, a lemon. Hot water, one cup, and that's it. And this is gonna make a very good batch, good sized batch of cheesy vegan cream sauce, right? Mm -hmm. Turn it on. And you wanna come over here and start it once? Sure. Turn it on. It's gonna get kinda loud, right? Come here. And Marilyn's got pink hair. <laughs> All right, so this is our first job of the day. Shelly and Dave just bought this home. Got this, not really shag, but just a, it's kind of a shaggy because it's a really thick, high density fiber, several years old. And before they bought this, this home was actually a vacation rental property. And it's right on the water. Well, across the street from the beach, you can literally walk across the street and go right out to Fernandina Beach. But as you can see, the people that rented it, there I am, okay. Uh, the people that rented it, Shelly said she doesn't even think they ever vacuumed. And she might be right. So it's really neat. They prepared all the furniture to be moved um, for us other than just the big stuff. But all the small stuff was already picked up. So we just really had beds and dressers. We put the nightstands up on the bed. And, of course, after we did a thorough... Uh, inspection of all the fibers we went ahead on step one of the professional carpet cleaning process which is commercial vacuuming and Cole wanted to use the workhorse because he loves it and if you've ever used one you probably love it too it's just a really fun vacuum because you can watch the dry soil enter the canister real time which is a huge benefit but he got the pro team I took the workhorse and he was able to vacuum all three bedrooms the same time it took me to vacuum just the hallway and the stairs. And you can see I didn't get a whole lot, but she had vacuumed it over and over and over again, she said, and I still was able to pull out quite a bit. Shelly was pretty impressed. She thought that was quite a bit of sand that I got out of there. So of course, once we did the commercial vacuuming, we went ahead and applied the preconditioning treatment for this carpet because we could tell it had been neglected and probably never professionally cleaned, certainly not professionally maintained very regularly, if ever. So we went ahead and we boosted this pre-spray um, pretty heavy. It's a pretty potent brew that we laid down. And of course, once we got all the fiber preconditioned really, really thoroughly, we went ahead and agitated um, with both the CRB and the little uh, drill with the brush on it that we like to use. Uh, for the stairs but the bedrooms weren't very large and the staircase was pretty narrow as well but the stairs and definitely the hallway both took a pretty good beating because the entire downstairs is tile floor hard surface so the first carpet that you run into um, is the staircase and of course so it takes quite a beating with the dry soil but Cole went ahead and used the counter rotating brush machine or CRB and it made a huge impact um, agitating that preconditioner into the face yarn or fibers of the carpet. We were able to see a pretty big difference with the soil level already being suspended because of the agitation efforts of this powerful machine. 
So by far, hands down, the most difficult portion of this job was the furniture moving because they wanted us to move all the furniture, clean underneath it, and then move it back in place. So here I am sliding over these beds. This was a pretty easy room to do because these beds, we literally could just slide them over, slide one over, uh, clean underneath where it goes, and you can see I was picking up couple pieces that we didn't get with the vacuum and then Cole the headboards weren't attached on these so Cole went ahead and slid those back and put little pieces of foam underneath um, and then I had to re realign one of them there but then we moved the other one over and with this type of fiber because it was so dense and it had that real shag type of feel I've cleaned hundreds and hundreds of carpets of, of houses or homes with this type of carpet and I can tell that tell you that dragging a traditional wand even with a glide on it like we have it is a real real pain as far as the effort required to pull that wand just because of the suction on this machine so what's a much more effective and easier way to clean is with this rotary extractor called the rotovac 360 and we've been using it a lot lately it's kind of funny i go through little spurts where I just really like using the Rotovac and it just stays on the van and I pull it out, seemingly like pull it out all the time. And I, I don't know why, I just, I guess I get reminded of the fact that it's just so much more thorough. You can see the drawer slid out there. We probably should have put that on sliders, but, um, you know, just pull it. We had the sliders and we just didn't end, end up using them. We were able to move everything pretty easily without having to use the sliders. So you can see us here putting the, the styrofoam blocks underneath the furniture to keep not only the furniture protected but also keep the uh, the carpet from getting damaged as well and so even though these rooms weren't really that big and there wasn't a whole lot of large furniture in any of the rooms because the rooms were small it was kind of a little bit difficult to maneuver the furniture around in such a way where we could clean every square inch of carpet really effectively and put it right back where they had it before we arrived. So you can see that the nightstand's still on the bed. The two things you're not going to get to see in this video is us putting the nightstands back and blocking that out and also grooming the carpets, which is another thing that we did. Uh, by we, I mean Cole did. So while I was finishing up doing the extraction on the staircase, he put some shoe covers on, snuck by me, and went ahead and um, groomed, the, groomed out all the swirly marks there. So... This is a pretty tight fit, as you can see here, but we just pulled this uh, long dresser out away from the wall and was able to get that rotovac back in there to extract and clean that out really well. Another thing I wanted to make sure I did because of the density of this type of carpet is every wet pass I did with the rotovac, I did a dry pass with it as well to ensure that we pulled out as much moisture as we possibly could and getting a very quick dry time there. So this room was a lot trickier. We had to slot, because the bed was positioned right in the middle of the room, we actually had to push it all the way to one side and then clean this whole area here and then move the bed all the way over to the other side and clean that whole area over there closer to the window. And wow, what a view too, because this was built up. This is obviously on the second floor. So you know we could look out the window and see the beach it was just amazing but there you can see we slid the bed all the way over to the other side and we're going to clean this whole section here and you can see i like to block out the area that i'm about to clean first and then go ahead and clean it out but um, once we got this whole area done that's when we went and moved the bed back to center where they had it and because this one was on wheels and the wheels are plastic we didn't actually have to put any type of protection down between the bed and the carpet fiber. And so from start to finish, this job took Cole and I about an hour and 45 minutes, which is really good time for the amount of work we had in moving all the furniture and cleaning all this carpet. And you can see this room was obviously different than the first room where it took both of us to move that one bed. <laughs> and then we moved this dresser and cleaned behind it. And while it was moved, I thought it'd probably be easier to do the closet now. So I went ahead and knocked that out. And not all, not all the rooms had a closet, so that one did. Went ahead and cleaned that. And then we moved this dresser back, and you can see the styrofoam blocks on top of that dresser. It was really important to have those because it kept the furniture up high enough because of the thick density of this type of fiber. It took every bit of those blocks to keep it up and away from the damp fibers. 
And now this last room was the only bed that didn't have a headboard, so I was able to muscle that over myself. And similar to the last room, went ahead and pushed it all the way closer to the drawer there, and then cleaned this section, and then pushed it all the way up against the wall, and cleaned the other section. And that, that area there, we had really good light, and actually you could see pretty amazing before and after as the rotovac went through and did the extraction portion of the cleaning. So today we were using the Butler truck mount that we have and we had really good heat over 200 degrees at the wand and we also had the pressure turned up to 600 psi in order to get this carpet nice and clean there. So our customers Dave and Shelly told us that they found us on Facebook and they did a question in one of their local groups here for this area and they said they had an overwhelming response for our company a1 carpet care came highly recommended on Facebook so that was pretty neat they were new to the area and very impressed with our response and our ability to show up yesterday and provide them with an estimate and then show up today and do the job for them after we wrapped everything up and got paid said our goodbyes and thank yous to Dave and Shelly. We took off and got about three or four blocks down the road when I got a call from Angela who said, hey, you might want to turn around. Uh, you forgot something. And I said, oh, no, we left the rotovac. And sure enough, we had left the rotovac sitting at the bottom of the stairs on top of a towel, which I like to put a little towel under it when I pull it off of the stairs. But somehow or another, we completely forgot to load up the rotovac. So I blamed it on Cole, of course. It was all his fault but uh, jokingly laughed when we got there to pick it up from Dave. He had rolled it outside at that point, and I, he opened the door and kind of smiled, and I said, hey, I really appreciate you not hawking this thing on eBay for a couple hundred bucks, uh, and he laughed. But um, there is a rotor, rotovac attachment. I think they have one for the stairs. I probably should get that because um, although this wand did a really good job extracting, again, this type of fiber, it almost needed something a little bit more aggressive in terms of, the stairs but overall turned out really really good and here you can see the uh, after effect of all the water that we pulled out just a three small rooms a hallway and the staircase here so pretty dark pretty funky definitely got some good results once again I just want to say thank you guys so much if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button comment below and let me know your favorite part and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time we drop a new video.